They don't come again, no, all these people. They cannot just say anything and keep quiet. It's God. Did God tell you to be saying all these things? Like the Bible says that wisdom is profitable to direct. They will just open mouth and be saying all manner of things. Yes, the general overseer of the Christ House of Prayer and Deliverance Ministry, Prophet Elijah Bamidele, has revealed what God allegedly showed him. Allegedly showed him. <laughs> Prophet Bamidele said there will be a gang up against Peter Obi of Labour Party candidate for president in the 2023 election. Lagos-based prophet Bamidele asked Obi to watch the kind of interviews he grants to be to the press. Prophet Elijah Bamidele Ilu Kolo of the Christ House of Prayer and Deliverance Ministry, Lagos has said he saw a vision of Peter Obi in handcuffs. Obi, a former governor of Anambra State, is the presidential candidate of the Labour Party who is challenging the victory of President Bola Metinumbu in this year's general election in the court. Speaking to the congregation recently, Prophet Bamidele counseled Obi to be extremely careful because he might end up in the custody of the Department of State Services in Abuja. According to him, I saw it very clearly. In his words, I saw handcuffs in the hands of Peter Obi. This is my counsel for Peter Obi. Be careful because I saw, I saw, should I call it a gang up? I saw him in DSS custody. So that's, that his case will not be worse than the case of a, Mm. I saw it very clear. Peter B should be very careful of what he says this period of the interviews in Grants because they want to use his words against him. Mm. And I saw Hancock on his hand in DSS course of the Peter B. Be careful of the kind of interview you grant. In a piece of related news, Legit.ng reported that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on Tuesday, July 4th, opened and closed a defense in Peter Obi's petition challenging the results of the Saturday, February 25th, 2023 presidential election. At the court session, Lawrence Biodi, an information technology IT expert, was led in defense by Atiku Ababaka, who is INEC's lawyer. Okay. <laughs> Wonders that he say shall never end. It is you and your entire generation that will be anchored. He, he said, he saw, you know, you can dream some things. I don't know whether they just say they see vision. You know, if everybody comes out and begin to say what they, what they, what, what they saw, why they were sleeping. You know, this world no go con. Everywhere no go contain everybody now. Vision. Allegedly God showed you. I don't understand. Mm. You are one of the, you are the one to be anchored. Fake, what you saw is rulers watch uh, studded with a diamond. I am glad you are into the deliverance ministry. Stand down on it and destroy it and forbid it from physical manifestation. The way I see these people, eh? <laughs> now wow, I don't even normally believe in prophecy, but think about some unscrupulous elements pushing Obi to declare himself president. If he should fall for this, that will be tantamount to treason. And he will be arrested. How can that do that? You guys should be, you should be daft to think uh, Peter will be. It, it's like if people didn't even know. A lot of people didn't know that uh, he became governor after the three years after the first election was was conducted. Obi will go on. If, if you if you think he wants to declare, he would have done that. <laughs> is Obi is wiser than all of you? Forget all this nonsense that these guys are talking about. Who is pushing you? Who are the people? I've never seen anybody. These ABC people, they can push some kind of propaganda. The person who is daring him to go and do this, to go and declare himself the president, is a random mockery. So, I don't, I've never seen anybody, any prominent person advising him. And who can advise him? Who is the person that will advise him in the first place to go and declare himself president? So, because of that, you think, yes, straight up to the DSS. Anchors for integrity as the best governor and politician ever. Obi is not canoe. He has supporters all over the world. So that, so that will be the end of end. Pass by. Don't deceive Tinubu to plunge Nigeria into a national conflagration. Obi has done well to have told his supporters not to protest after the infamous, infamous announcement and that kept Nigeria in peace. Nobody should distort the peace by being overzealous.
Mm. This your prophecy is from pits of hell. Before you pro uh, you prophesy, think twice. By the way, what is his offense? We thank God he is not corrupt like some of you pastors and politicians. The handcuff means that this country will be divided so that everyone should go and develop their country. That is the meaning. Go and sit down. That your revelation is not even working. Ankov that he did what? Or what you want? Or you just want to train that be? And it will never come to pass as the Lord liveth. As the Lord liveth, the Spirit liveth, it will never come to pass. This pastor is playing with wrath of God by saying what God has not even sent him. Be careful as you always stand before God so that the wrath of God will not even strike you. I just feel that some of them are even acting in ignorance. But if it is true that they are just four minutes, of course they will face the music. Some of them maybe they just sleep or they just think of something and they begin to imagine some things. And the next thing they say, God said, I beg. All of those ones who said they God did this, God did this. Where are they today? I think this is myopic, hungry pastor should have seen Jagaban who rigged election arrested instead. Your evil prophecies will not come to pass. Whosoever that is planning evil against Peter will, be, will perish by disastrous death because he is a man of destiny. So guys, let's know what you think about this. Thank you.